Hi guys, I'm just doing a video, a tag video response, I guess. Um, this is um, my first video response or tag video, whatever we call it. But um, um, this is with regards to the 25 random, uh, no sorry, this is the would you rather beauty tag. And I'm posting this video as a response to Sardine, Sardoon1. Um, she just posted hers. I've seen a couple of these, so I'm just going to finally give this one a go. So I'm just going to get right on it. So if you guys see me, um, sorry, I just moved the camera. Oops. If you guys see me looking over to um, my left a bit, that's just because I'm reading the questions out. So the first question is, would you rather go out with messy hair and nice makeup or nice hair and no makeup? Definitely, I'd offer the latter. I, I mean, with messy hair, and we all have our bad hair days, it's easily fixable with, you know, a headband or um, some elastics or, you know, some hair pins. But I think going out with no makeup at all, I, although I'm comfortable going out without any makeup, but I don't know, it just gets you, like, your mood is just off, feels off the whole day, at least for me it is, and I just feel a little bit too naked without makeup. Um, number two, would you rather shave your eyebrows or have your eyelashes fall out? Definitely, I'd rather shave my eyebrows. Um, with every all the products we have now, it's so easy to just put them back on or just, you know, pencil it in or something. So definitely, I mean, having no lashes at all is much more of a nightmare to have to deal with. Would you rather be forced to shop at only MAC or Sephora for the rest of your life? Um, if I had to choose between the two, just obviously because of variety, it would be Sephora, although I do love certain MAC products. I don't think there's anything that they have solely that I would die if I never had it again. And Sephora definitely just has a wider range of products. Number four, would you rather wear lip gloss or lip liner look or 80s perm? I'd definitely rather go with a lip gloss and lip liner. And I guess that look that is being referred to here is the one where the lip liner is harshly, harshly much darker than the lip gloss and it looks, you know, like a two-tone thing. I think that's the one that they're referring to. Then I would definitely still prefer that though than um, have permed hair. Number five, would you rather leave the house with an obvious foundation line or overdone blush? I guess that would be overdone blush. I actually have done that a couple of times, I think. And I've learned from it though, so now I always check out natural light um, before I actually do step out. But um, I think foundation line is just such a faux pas and I think it's just actually almost embarrassing. It's just a testament to, you know, it's just a very visible thing that just screams there's nothing natural about you. I don't know. It's just so much worse, I think. Um, number six, would you rather wear MC Hammer pants or biker shorts in public? Um, definitely biker shorts and only because, I mean, sorry, definitely I'd rather wear MC Hammer pants than biker shorts in public because I do not have the body to wear biker shorts in public. That's like wearing Spanx in public and I would just absolutely die. <laughs> Um, number seven, would you rather have a bad orangey spray tan or really weird tan lines that can't be covered? Definitely, I'd rather have weird tan lines that can't be covered. I actually think that, especially during summer, they're actually very sexy and they're actually very um, intriguing and unique. It's just, it's actually pretty cute. So I'd rather definitely have that. You know, if you're wearing a tank, um, especially during the summer, if you're wearing tanks and then you you know, there are times when you're sunbathing or tanning and you wear, you know, weird straps. Um, I think they're cute. I think they're cool. I think it just means that you have the luxury of time to actually be in the sun during summer. Um, over, you know, orange tan lines just is a testament to the fact that you have to get baked or you have to actually um, go to uh, some contraption to get a glow and rather than you know be sitting on the shore and or maybe a yacht so I think definitely um, weird tan lines just it's just more natural it's to be expected during the summer number eight would you rather have a bad haircut or bad hair color 
definitely a bad hair color because that can be solved. Um, you can just recolor it again. Haircut is something you'd have to just have to put up with for a much longer time and it's horrible because you can't leave it down. It's just um, much more of a pain to deal with. Whereas hair color, if you have a good cut, it's almost negligible, really. If, if, if the layers are nice and they're sexy and they, they fall the way they're supposed to, and then you can just, you know, recolor or just re-dye your hair, or whatever. But it's so much easier to deal with. Number nine, would you rather have YouTube or Twitter taken away forever? I guess it would be Twitter. Um, I do have an account, but I, um, in, in, in comparison, sorry. As compared to YouTube or Facebook, I think I go on Twitter the least. Um, just because there's really not much. I mean, YouTube, I do enjoy watching um, tutorials and product reviews, and I look everything up in YouTube as well. I learn, I've learned so much from it, I've met so much people. Same with Facebook, you know, reconnecting with old friends. But with Twitter, I mean, I do get what's cool about it once in a while. I mean, but. It's almost negligible. It's not as, I don't get as much as what I get from YouTube. Um, number 10, would you rather give up using makeup brushes or mascara? Um, I guess like most of everyone, I'd rather give up using makeup brushes because, um, you know, we all know that you can apply with your fingers most of the product or most makeup products. Um, yeah. And mascara is just something that is the one thing that you cannot apply with your fingers and it's a very integral and crucial part of any makeup because it just your lashes just really it's such an eye-opener and it and the eye look definer that you know you just look bare without mascara and defined lashes so definitely no makeup brushes working with fingers is more workable than having no mascara so I guess that's it and um, feel free to post um, your retag or response to this tag video. Um, I've enjoyed watching most of everybody's and I think it's just a cool thing to get to know one another here on YouTube. So yeah, thank you for watching and I guess that's it for now. Um, good night.